In this session, we'll discuss the topic rank of a matrix. Very interesting topic. A rank of a matrix. Basically, for a matrix, rank is equal to the number of linearly independent vectors in that matrix. Right? So you can write it is the maximum number of linearly independent vectors. Why so? Because a matrix is uh, matrix can be formed by combination of vectors. We can have like three cross three is like maybe it, it is three vectors of dimension three v1 v2 v3 with three dimensions right so the maximum number of linearly independent vectors will give you the rank of the matrix but how to find it mathematically like how to implement it we can do one thing we can transform any matrix to its row equivalent form we can transform it to its row equivalent form and then the number of non zero rows will give the rank right in the previous section in the gauss elimination we transformed a like an a augmented b matrix into the triangular form that is very equivalent to the row equivalent form what we are doing is we are doing some uh, elementary operations on the rows so that we can form into row equivalent or triangular form right so for that we'll get the number of non zero rows right for example let's see if this is like determine the rank if we have a equal to 3 0 2 Minus six forty two twenty four fifty four twenty one minus twenty one zero minus fifteen. Then getting into the row equivalent form, we can see check the number of non zero rows and then that will help you to decide the rank. So, like we were doing in the triangular form, we have to do the elementary operations. So, what can we do for the row first column? This is three. So, below this, these two elements have to be made zero. Then, coming to the column two, the element below a two two has to be made zero, and so on. Right. So, let's start with the column one. So, column one. A after a one one for to make a two two and a uh, a one um, a two one and a three one to be zero. We can do the all uh, operations. Row two is row two plus two times of row one, and row three is row three maybe minus seven times of r one. Why? Because the element is three minus six and twenty one, right? Three minus six and twenty-one. So minus six plus two times of three will will give you zero, and twenty-one minus seven times of three will give you zero. So this gives you three. The elements same remain same. Other elements for row two this becomes zero, forty-two, twenty-eight, and fifty-eight. Third will become zero minus twenty one minus fourteen 
एंड माइनस ट्वेंटी नाइन नाउ कॉलम वन इज डन फॉर कॉलम टू एलिमेंट बिलो दिस ए टू टू हैज टू बी मेड जीरो सो दिस इज हाफ ऑफ दिस वॉट वी कैन डू इज रो थ्री ऑपरेशन रो थ्री प्लस हाफ ऑफ रो टू राइट हाफ ऑफ रो टू विल गिव यू जीरो सो दिस बिकम्स थ्री जीरो टू टू जीरो फोर्टी टू दिस रिमेन सेम ट्वेंटी एट फिफ्टी एट एंड दिस जीरो माइनस जीरो माइनस ट्वेंटी वन एंड हाफ ऑफ फोर्टी टू विल गिव यू जीरो माइनस फोर्टीन एंड हाफ ऑफ ट्वेंटी एट विल गिव यू जीरो माइनस ट्वेंटी नाइन एंड हाफ ऑफ फिफ्टी एट विल अगेन गिव यू जीरो सो वी कैन सी नंबर ऑफ नॉन जीरो रो इज टू सो रैंक ऑफ ए विल राइट इट एज रैंक ऑफ ए विल बी टू इन दिस केस राइट नो विल सी सम मोर थिंग हेयर so let's let's talk about this we can start we can discuss any of the metrics so let's discuss this this is a 3 cross 4 matrix right it is not a square matrix obviously so what is the minor of highest possible rank here that is order 3 like any of this maybe if we are taking this suppose this is a 3 cross 3 minor of so we'll say this is a minor of order 3 likewise we can have any such minor of maybe order 2 mm, let's let's take this one this as order 2 or we can take a minor of order 1 this is minor of order 1 right for minor of order 1 we we can directly take any element right we cannot take a minor of order 4 here why because this dimension is 3 cross 4 so if it had been 4 cross 4 the matrix determinant would have been the minor right so this red one is 3 cross 3 so it is a minor of order 3 this yellow one is order 2 minor this green one is order 1 minor right so now we'll see why we have we were talking about this the basic understanding is for any matrix of any dimension let's say for a matrix for a matrix of a of size m cross n with any random minor let's say of order r we are taking any random order r minor so if at least one of the minor is non zero then rank of the matrix is going to be greater than or equal to r and similarly i'll get back to this similarly if all the minors are zero then rank of a is going to be less than r right what we are doing is we are picking a minor of order ran a random order r and checking all the minors of that order if at least one of it is non zero let's say for the previous case of 3 cross 4 if we check uh, my, uh, all the minors of order 3 so r equal to 3 so if r if at least one of the minor of order 3 is non zero we'll say that the rank is going to be at least 3 or more than that now that more than that is not possible the rank is going to be 3 right similarly if all the minors of that order are going to be zero so in the previous case if we are considering third order minors if all the third order minors are zero the ranking is going to be less than 3 it cannot be greater than 3 it cannot be equal to 3 it has to be less than 3 it can be 2 it can be 1 and so on other than that what what we can uh, observe one more thing is 
if at least one non zero element i'm not talking about minor at least one zero non zero element is present in a the rank of the matrix is going to be greater than or at least equal to 1 right why why so because all the elements are nothing but minor of order 1 so if all the minors of uh, of order 1 are the element itself if at least one of the element is non zero the rank is going to be minimum 1 or more than that right another understanding is so when is the rank going to be less than 1 and less than 1 can be zero it cannot be negative right so when it can be zero when the matrix is a null matrix that means all the elements are zero so the rank is going to be zero right also the rank of the matrix is also equivalent to the number of linearly independent column so like we said it is the it is equal to the number of uh, uh, linearly independent row vector it is also equivalent to number of linearly independent column vector and because of that we can say rank of a is same as rank of a transpose so whether it is a or a transpose you are going to get the same rank also elementary transformations does not change the rank of let's say a it does not change the rank of a so the elementary transformation we were doing ri is equal to ri plus k times of rj or for the column also we'll get the same rank next is the maximum possible rank let's say we have m cross n matrix so the maximum possible rank is going to be the least of m and n why so because for the like for the previous example it was 3 cross 4 let's say it was 3 cross 4 the maximum the highest order minor possible here is 3 cross 3 so if you see the order 3 is the minimum of 3 and 4 the minimum of 3 and 4 is 3 and that is the highest possible minor and that can be non zero so the rank is going to be 3 so for a for a matrix a m cross n the maximum of rank is going to be minimum of the function m comma n m minimum of m comma n is like the minimum value which is among this m and n right similarly if we have product of two matrix let's say there is a matrix a with rank let's say rank a and b with rank b then rank of a b is going to be maximum it can be minimum of rank of a and rank of b so let's say we are multiplying a and b and uh, let's say it has a rank the highest possible rank the, the rank of a is 2 and the rank of b is 4 and this multiplication is possible then also the highest possible rank of ab is going to be the minimum of 2 and 4 so it is going to be 2 it can be 2 it can be 1 it can be 0 it cannot be more than 2 right so we can make one more conclusion here let's say we have a square matrix for a square matrix of order n 
right so this is a of n cross n right so what is the highest possible minor here that is of order n right so the highest possible rank of a is n if and what is the highest possible minor for a square matrix it is the determinant so before that we can say we can say that uh, for a square matrix of course determinant of a is nothing but the minor of order n now if determinant of a is non zero that also means the minor of order n is non zero then rank of a is going to be n it cannot be more than n and now since the minor of order n is non zero we, we are not going to uh, have any value less than n so rank will be n so determinant of a not equal to zero is like non singular matrix right this also means if a matrix is singular the rank will be less than n right this also means if a is singular like obviously we are talking about square matrix rank of a is going to be less than n it cannot be n because because the determinant is zero right so this also concludes if let's say rank of a equal to n and uh, ab is equal to 0 this implies b equal to 0 why can we see why let's see point is this a matrix is having a rank of n and the product of a and b is having a rank of 0 so this is only possible when the rank of b was 0 because it is going to be a null vector 0 means the null vector the rank is going to be 0 and it has to be coming from the rank of b so this means that b is also a null vector right one more thing is if a is singular then ab and ba are also singular now that why so because a like a and b are both square matrix of n order now if a is have is singular then the rank is going to be less than n and the product of a and b cannot be more than that rank of a and that rank of a is less than n so that means a b the product a b or the product b a will also have the rank less than n so that means a b and b a are also singular that is why it cannot have a non zero minor of order n right so we'll use all these properties this is a very important topic it helps you to find the uh, whether the possibility of equation uh, solutions of equation is there or not and rank is very interesting the questions are very interesting we need to understand the property related and the relation between the minor the determinant and the rank right we'll see the questions